much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. <laughs> Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May Shibe protect us. Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Yeah, doesn't sound familiar or anything. Else. I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? You know, she's not like you can do like a mission for her. There's a side quest. And that's not voiced. And now she's voiced. And I've never been. Uh, her voice would sound like that. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy, have fun. Hope it goes well. But yeah. Look at that voice. That's what this guy says. The world has truly lost its way. You. Wait, I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. <laughs> great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Oh, he's the movie guy. Okay, I remember this guy now. <laughs> what a joke. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. <sighs> the disturbing voice in my head. It's getting closer. Okay. Go to this guy. A sip of liquor, a blissful reprieve, to drown a thousand sorrows, let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. 
Oh? <laughs> you. You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh? <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the Devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy is just not saying anything. They say it loves to appear to jump people, especially the ones who are passed out. On the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Oh, darn it. <laughs> Now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Please do not hit the entertainment facilities. Take care, my friend. Okay. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Okay, I was a, I definitely wasn't expecting that voice. Okay. <sighs> You don't look good, my friend. If you need <laughs> assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. No, we can't. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well... Is that Dr. Greenshaw? Actually, I do need a favor. Hmm. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. Uh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. Oh, it's getting desperate. Okay, why not? There's more. Okay. You want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Uh. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest... I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death. Ah, another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, 
were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Is this a gift for me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yeah, that'll be my reaction as well. Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um... Neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about... Why does he talk like that, though? The dreams. <sighs> so zesty. Just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Hmm. <clears throat> the devil of soul, Glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Well, I've just noticed this whole thing is water. Why? My bag are running low. Well, let's see if my last kind of weird. WWE brings some surprises. Why would you walk in this? what I said. You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Okay, okay, okay. Look at Something's you. happening. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Sparkles happening. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? She sounds a little less crazy. You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Adventuring is actually dying. But it's a good thing if you ask me. Because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth. Right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Okay. Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute. Did you really mean Robin? Hmm. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well, 
well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. <laughs> now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Okay. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. But Blackstone has this as well. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, Feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Penacony. I'll handle the rest myself. What are we talking about? I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now. Okay. Hmm. Oh. So, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence. I didn't give you permission to speak. You Sigoni. Hound. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> 
Testing out if you're a good product. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Huh. Okay. What brings you here, Gallagher? My qu is this girl Friends from the old days? Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Holy NPC. Guess you could never. That's crazy. Old lad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Sir Ball. Who's Sir Val? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. Huh? <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, Shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Look at this, bro. Any ingredients Shit. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere master technique and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created you know i'm glad i finally use this area what you get from your drink is down it's to just life. empty so don't overthink it indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment cool Bar. Now let's give it a shake. 
Nice. It's still busy and has a long shelf life. Oh, the bottle, that's what it is. Uh -huh. That's possible. Okay. You see soul glad everywhere these days. So it wouldn't be a surprise if someone brought a bottle here. Why don't they sell soul glad in this bar? Did something happen? It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. You're always right. Please don't die. Just, just stay there. Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during Siobhan. the chaos. <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters. I'm a is gamer, really by the way. Indeed. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Oh, that's quite a stash. I should budge her, right? I'm not sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Uh-huh. What's all the commotion about? Oh, check out this bottle. I should the find out, Frank. inside looks beautiful. Why not? And the label reads Dream Syrup Thick. I don't see an expiration date. Thick. But the production date is half an amber era ago. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. That's true, but this really doesn't seem fresh. Yeah, but we are in a dream again, so. Syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years, and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh, then... We'll keep it for now. Man, it's nice to be back in March, not gonna lie. He's always fun. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? I, mean, I did say stuff, so like physical, so I'm gonna give trash. Hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Uh, no way. It's always the trash. The note are changing. Trash is always the answer. The dream of the humble. Uh, does this mean we can take it? Something feels weird about this. I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. 
Please, Siobhan, I really need you. I like this thing that like that's hanging like that. I remember I used to have a teacher that you have like a chain. Like but like what do you call like accessory, I guess. And I always thought those were cool. Never tried them myself, but yeah. And what else? And she needs to put those glasses on. She, she looks sick. Oh no, wait, talking about glasses. Let's be cool, right? Yes. We're at a bar. And we're doing bar stuff. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just one moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Yeah, by the way, I'm pretty sure something's up with him. Like, the whole voice change thing. And it's also, it's kind of rewashed what I've played so far. Not everything, but most of it. And, like, when we met up, the trailer is a set. Oh, did something happen to him? Like, when she. She was talking to the Blundhound rep. So maybe something did happen. But it's because she, she was with March the whole time. So she should know, but... There you go. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Alright. I'm always up for changing emotions. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. What? I think she's happy, right? Because if she's happy, she's just gonna go do something else. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and uh, I share the okay, stage. maybe not. The crowd is going wild. Applause crashing like waves the aroma of irises fills the air a beautiful melody playing ribbons dancing around us and the taste is sweeter than honey i've seen that scene countless times in my dreams and every time it mesmerizes me that's why yeah shoban does that to me as well it's crazy her back to that world no matter what it takes. <laughs> Ever since they showed that on the glass, live stream. My Every dream. Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. Okay. She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. I just don't get why sh Okay, maybe I'm doing angry first. Those darn Iris jerks. Oh. They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Ah, oh, I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help 
clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master, exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Things might get out of control if she gets any angrier. I need to come up with another plan. I just don't get yeah, I thought we'd get something. But like there is like another recipe sign. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid. And shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. Good friend, right there. Good name. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Amaki has left? <sighs> yep. That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please, keep the money. When you're ready, Wait, what? go to Gallagher. <laughs> Okay. I can tell he's itching That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So, go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Uh Let me double my friend. I'm yeah, sure I could get splendid ingredients. That being said, so go ahead. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Oh, let's make something hard. Why not? Uh... Okay. <laughs> you won't find a sweeter drink anywhere in Pentacony. And that's what today's dream seekers crave. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Uh -huh.
Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I want that one. Uh. You know, I would do Eternal Endurance, but I'm gonna do Bright Future instead. Like, I think this is like the better choice, but this sounds cool. Like, for me, right? Bright future. A taste that's been a long time coming. <laughs> I'll never forget the flavor that danced on my tongue as Mikhail whisked me through the dreamscape wilderness. Ooh. Those were haunting times. Too beautiful to be real. Mikhail. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Mm -hmm. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Concentric circles. What does that mean? I don't know. English is too hard. Let's do that. Favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Well, it's done. Here's to you, Dream Seeker, with this glass of El Dorado. To golden dreams. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. And this drink is gonna change everything. So are you satisfied? Probably not, but... Oh, the flavors! They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece. Especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a... Hint of sweetness. My mom is something happening to him in cold mind. Entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that Mikhail? Give it away? But that was in the child's dream? You know, I don't know if it's gonna give us anything, so I might as well try. Let's see. Hey, how does she know? <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no okay. reason to hide in It's lore time. Anymore. Let's go. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. Mm -hmm. In other words, She's a stowaway. Mm -hmm. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh? Does that mean... Interesting.
Maybe things will turn out different than what we think. Different? <laughs> Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on. Aren't you a witness in this case? Come on, I'm just a delusional Firefly fan. This case, actually. Is there really that much to wish for? like anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case, so how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the There's relationship so many yapping between lights. the family what the fuck? and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Loki. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? So, you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, Never now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. There you go. I guess, you know, just one line. It's that easy. Here we are Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the Watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's okay, a not, place. Okay, we don't have to be cool anymore. To me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. 
One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. Oh, who's that? He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Hmm. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Huh. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Okay. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Astana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Yeah. I'm 13. No way! Not even close! Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. While they continue to okay. praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, 
I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer. Supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners. And my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity. In a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? It's fitting, though. Does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else, probably within the Oak family. The death is related to the watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy, and now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Something onto death is the legacy. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Speaking of yeah, but we could learn from him, no? That Clocky, who only reveals himself to you, is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Yeah. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Oh, on his end? They're going all right. Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. It seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded Wait. mansion. Let's see if there's They're infiltrating this. Oh shit. Damn. 
when the door is still open. I wonder how close this is to adventure, right? A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Imperceptible. Light. What's that? I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Okay, she's just invisible, huh? so she literally did see less technique. A model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Maybe the heads of the family used that model for the footprints here are different from my the rest. god, I skipped dialogue man. sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Okay, hold on. Uh, actually, nah, I'm not gonna change them just yet. Stream four. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. Well, there's like a black heart on it, so... Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Penaconi, so their presence here is not unexpected. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Look, I wonder why you dropped some Delta 200k. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Also, I don't like... Who? <gasps> no one here either. Really? Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. <laughs> Book. Um. Okay, something is taunting the harmony, which is messing with her. See a member of the family. Uh. As soon as I and the rest hmm. of the crew arrived in Penaconi, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Hmm. 
meaning. If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I also like the noise of the slash. Sounds like hefty, you know, like heavy. Uh, Death's victims. Because I also think there's something else. I don't think it's that meme that we found. Because even eventually said, or was it Black Swan? That like that wound wasn't from the meme, like fireflies. There's so many people that died. The information Fuck. about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Interesting. This light cone is securely guarded it must hold some important memories according to robin's interview despite having performed on so many grand stages her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids i wonder how their relationship is now growing up brings gains but also losses yeah Time has a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Yeah. And they... Uh, what was the uh, what, what family was the guy? Do you guys remember the and that like 
and a live stream that they did before 2.0 came out. The, like the real, the, like real life one. And where the guy at the end like put on the mask, right? He was part of a family, but I don't remember. I wonder if that guy is the traitor. Like that family, maybe. It seems neither okay. the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Odi is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Maybe all of these are suspects or something. Do I recognize any of these names? Man. Maybe like from the live streams and the trailers and stuff from 2.0, but uh, I don't remember. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. And who's the bad guy, bro? Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger... As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured. He hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth okay. remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? 
With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. He's cooking. While yeah. the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Why is guy so weird, man? Oh, I swear. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Oh, God damn. So that's where she's from. I've seen pictures of her, and I was wondering where, what's up with her. Oh, my God. Why is she wearing the musketeer hat though? Holy bro, and then Well if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps oh, you killed. Okay. You want to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. 
Bro, why is she so fine though, bro? God damn. Do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my market value 30 tonbas no more no less with this money i'll climb to even greater heights than you grasp even more riches than you <laughs> i wager you won't give me this chance which is why you should call him here interesting the pity diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? Bro, eventually he's gonna win. That's crazy. Never to return. I'm gonna win something. I don't know if Penalcony, but I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Lowly gambler. <laughs> what? What? I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. 
<laughs> the harmony. Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. Want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death door? That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Oh, why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? <laughs> Just a Papeshi? No. A child. I thought minors weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Okay. It's him. Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are... are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time too. Those eyes. And Mama Fung... No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any actions left. Papa, Mama, wait for me. <laughs> Only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? charity on Panacone, and relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you 
step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracy. Calculation. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even <laughs> suspect that it was another trap you meticulously devised? <laughs> but why though? Why would you put? Go on. Huh. Tell me. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, and was that not what you most wanted? But hmm. you chose the IPC instead. Just the money? Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> Not fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me. Wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on, it's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Well, your social capital has changed, after all. 
I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. That child... Could he be in here? Let's try to make like convince us of that. He's got something, basically. Some real adventure. Oh my. Tell me. What's his name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, uh, must I do all the work? Adventuring is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a in fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem. I have so much jade. Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Bro, so he took her f shit. Looks like what? jade can be substituted okay. for a venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A venturine, topaz, jade. Oh, I see, he's just like, okay. To help him. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. Oh my god. Ain't no way. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out. So he has a venture stuff? I just want to hear you say it. 
After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Is in the same bag. Oh. Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. There is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Ah, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the heart. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> I'm sure. Go give it a try, mister. Oh. oh my god. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Journey through this amusement park still isn't over, and 
I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiment. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponent would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? with two pieces of jewelry, a necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You are a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So, always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you 
surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. And woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that from start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellamon in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But who? We'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right, then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? Hey, did he ask that? Remember? <sighs> So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? My adventure can see clocky. Past and future. 
Okay, so now we don't want to destroy Pinocchio or what? can do it and it will be flawless Ugh, of course you can your luck will help you at the right time Stellaron and an emanator it's that simple He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. So luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before. So that's like his thing, like betting a li his life for another, something like that. Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about.
goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's best to die without regrets. <laughs> and now... Only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a momentum. Sure. Come on. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see what I look like too. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> I'm sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. I'm actually a... Merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> looking as you when I grow up. What's gonna happen? <laughs> it's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? The catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Abjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely...
surely paid for their arrogance. Without this ring, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, but Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avjin will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? She is back. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Bro, what's going on, mate? 
Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning, and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Tianzhou. You're talking weird again, but it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! Cool. But no need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap. He will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, there you go. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studio Theme Park. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. All right. Nice. I have now ascended. Um... Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. There's one too many O's. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. Oh, we already know that. If my meager strength is required. No, I'm just gonna play it like this. We're back here again. Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that 
That guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay yeah, like, attention. That's the weirdest thing. Where's everyone? I was obviously come prepared. Mm hmm. your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> well I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Mr. Celeron! <laughs> Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key to proving that the family is Death that does not exist in Dream's promise is nothing but a sham! Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here, in Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. You. 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 And you. All of are going to die. And it's all because of Mr. Stella. You will become the personification of death. <laughs> oh, don't underestimate the preservation. The cornerstone of the Amber Lord will surely guide me. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panicoe. Okay, how are you gonna do that? Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then, before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC police navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. Do you want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gift. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia for just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me, put me in chains, place me in the gallows, and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me, and the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? All oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the 
game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline, nor do you have any reason or ground to. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards? The Architect's Flawed Stone. <laughs> No value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. I'll invade spin the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. For the Amber Lord! Eh? Again, the ill tidings manifest. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss! <laughs> Our black swans left. I mean, that ult is so good. Too good to me. I weep for the departed. My god, that will too much. Dust rain. The two shall fall. Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. May as well kill them all. Here, all yours. Relax. Destiny aren't chosen. Here, all yours. Relax. Sensation. Remember it. What would you like to know this time? 
The seal of ill fate descends. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> Dusk's ring. It too shall fall. Look, listen, feel, pick! Stand still. <laughs> Time to sh- What's in your prescription? Don't worry, it's just a scrape. Final play coming down from a Bad. Never last. Serendipity! Another journey begins. I should use AoE to like get more chances, right? Okay, so existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. May as well kill them all. Okay, so Kafka is dead. And Bailey. Oh. Again, the ill tidings manifest. Let me tend to your wounds. I still have invigoration, so I shouldn't just die. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say Should bye. Should I be back on first? Boom. I weep for the departed. Oh. Dusk's ring. It too shall fall. Cut in the net. <laughs> Stand still. Looks like somebody needs a duck. Look, listen, feel, kick! Did you come here of your own volition? From the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Oh, that skill is so nice. Prepare for some hard luck. Scoundrels on four. The threads of destiny aren't chosen. Here, all yours. Relax. as the dawns do, destined for oblivion. The dice are cast. All or nothing! Oh, you don't kill them. <laughs> Mind your manners. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. This guy's about to get sent back. Dust ring. It too shall fall. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that free? <laughs> Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
friends. To fully relish this, I'm betting every last ship. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gain it. That's crazy. You're leaving? <sighs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle. What do you hope to find within a dream? Who is she trying to? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if that's not what I want? Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. X, okay. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. That is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the nihility's end. <laughs> Love. Oh my god. I wish to mourn the departed. Weeping like rain to swell the crossing stream. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Goodbye. So what did I do? Is he deleted? Oh my god. Oh. He's actually dead. That's crazy. What is this place? My hility. A gigantic black hole. And see. Have I... Have I succeeded? What the fuck? The floor looks so trippy. Feeling lucky. Welcome to this sad world. Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have.
You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Melody, is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more mm. forthcoming. Looks crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. 
Well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Panicone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Are you? You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, that sounds looking crazy. Gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world, if it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why then do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be. Oh, she's so fine, bro. Yeah, yeah. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. She looks so there good. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. 
Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. Man. Oh, great shot, man. It's okay. So. <laughs> Then I shall get going. Mister? You're leaving? You ultimately chose to... leave this dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and Big Sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? <laughs> I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle. And I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops and know that it is time for me to go and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing for what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha, and to make them proud. Hmm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping your blood eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. Okay. So he lives in the present. Hmm. Jereen Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He no, kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty, and start harvesting. Okay. 
I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Wait, what? You're awake. I've been waiting on you for quite a oh while. Oh my... There's too much... There's too much happening. Is adventuring dead? No. What, like... They broke the barrier so they could go outside. To prove that there's no death. Between dreams. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellarom hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. <laughs> All that I am. Ain't no way, bro. Yep. Oh, God. These cliffhangers, man. Labyrinth-like corridors and halls. Traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties... ...will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic! <laughs> you... The family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. 
Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey, and the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, Countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, say the line, but okay. You have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing, the answer to a question. You devil, you wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes, yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. This song starts playing. Oh my! Like, what is going on? But like, who the fuck are these people, bro? Like, oh, my God. even Sunday. There's so much that happened. Right. 
really don't even know what to say, man. So the whole thing with adventure in allowed the IPC to like justify something that lets them take over. But like now the Sundays that doesn't even matter. Yo. Oh. Bro, I'm gonna have to cook on that a little bit. What just happened? Oh my god. That was crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna end the year for today. Yeah, that was crazy. Everyone. Wow. That's crazy. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave it there.